Guys, a very quick lesson on the song Cheerleader by Sam Vincent. I'm gonna show you the creative chords which are used in the song, but before that, let's have a quick look at the structure of the song. We started with the verse, uh, before that, we have the intro, but it's kind of the same thing. So, we got the intro, we have the verse, then we have the pre chorus, which is really different, no link with the verse, then we have the chorus, right? Done. Then we have the next verse, then we got no pre chorus. We're gonna directly skip to the chorus, right? So, no pre chorus in between. And after the chorus, we have the bridge. Which, had, which is actually having the same chord progression of the pre-chorus. So you can just think that the missing pre-chorus is actually the bridge after the chorus. And then we have the last chorus. Pretty easy song, verse, pre-chorus, and the chor chorus are the three parts which you need to learn. But before that, let's quickly have a look at the chord shapes. No capo, starts hitting the first chord of G major, very important chord for the song. 3, 2, open, 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 3. Now this song, I just find a lot of similarities with uh, Reckless, which is a new song by Madison Beer. Uh, D minor, mute, mute, open, second, third, first. Then we have F, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. Then we have a D major, mute, mute, open, second, third, second. A minor, mute, mute, open, second, mute, open, second, second, first, open. Then we have a E flat major 7, which you can play it in this way, easy way. But let's play it in the proper way, which is over here. I'm having 6 on A, 8 on D, 7 on G. 8 on B and if you can then you can just hit that 6th fret on the high E string which will be required as a bar what else um, that's pretty much all the coffee that we need for the song so here is our introduction we play G 1 2 and then we play B minor oh this is a chord I just missed B minor mute 2 4 4 3 2 so 1 1 2 B minor 1 2 then gets different D minor 1 2 then A minor 1 2 so see it completely gets different so we have 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 that's the intro now sometimes I do feel like replacing the D minor chord with the B flat like for the intro which is this bar chord mute 1333 3, 3. but since it's a bar chord it's better to avoid that because it won't make a huge difference. It's very negligible. So we got intro. All right, time for the verse of the song. Goes for the two verses of the song in the exact same way. Start with G, then B minor, then D minor, then A minor, then F, then A minor, then F. Then D. Now multiply this whole thing by 2, which is you're gonna repeat that thing another time, and that's the verse. 2 dance show on each chord, and this is how the verse actually sounds like. Time for the pre-chorus as well as the bridge, that I don't know part. So we here we're gonna play an E flat major seven chord. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna play a D minor chord, but it's kind of better to play a D minor seven chord, which is my favorite chord. Mute, mute, open second, first chord. Like I actually like to play the open D minor seven chord a lot. You see how nice it sounds with that open D string. So. Flat major 7, 2, 3, 4, D minor 7. And repeat that a couple of times, you got the pre chorus as well as the bridge. So we got the verse, we got the pre chorus, now we are left with the chorus. So we have I, 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 and then we have. Now in this part, B flat major chord actually goes, which I show you right now. But if you want, you can skip the B flat chord and just play a D minor. But still, it's obviously better to play the perfect chord. So, what I'm doing on that I, I, I part, I'm gonna go for four dance strokes on the G major chord and it will be muted after a stroke. So, I, I, you see that? How I'm actually muting the chord just after strumming with the help of my right hand. So, one, two, three, four. And from now on, we have G, B flat, 
See, we're gonna go for down, down, up, up, down, up. I repeat from now on, after doing four dancers on the G major chord, we're gonna go for down, down, up, up, down, up on each chord. So we have. Got the next verse, uh, exact same thing, and directly we are to the chorus, no pre chorus this time. And after the chorus, we have the bridge, which is having the exact same chord progression of the pre chorus, and now we have the chorus, which is uh, just a little bit different since it's the last chorus of the song. We don't have that part that I, I, I. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply the string pan down, down, up, up, down, twice on G, then once on C, once on B flat once on C, which means we're just playing, replacing that four down stroke, that I, 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 with a down, down, up, up, down. And that's the only difference which we have. Another chant. B flat chord. C. And that's the whole song. I hope this video helps you out. Let me know what is the song you just want to learn. And that's it. Bye.